Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some goodies to share with you today from Up To DIY. They were kind enough to let me pick some diamond paintings etc to share with you all. I think they're all diamond paintings in this instance if memory serves me right. But let's go straight in to number one. Oh, see, look, we've got some blue. But this isn't sort of a me blue picture. This is potentially would look amazing in a football fan's room. I don't want to say little boy because it's not necessarily a little boy. Um, I have done a painting before that has red and blue, so it sort of has fire um, going around the football. This one is more water. Football or soccer ball, depends what country you live in. Here, football. Um, definitely, that's a football. But it does have sort of water splashing on it. Just, it's a nice different way to showcase um, or to get some artwork into a football fan's room. They might not be somebody that enjoys diamond painting, but it may suit them in their room. My nephews would be more than happy um, if I gifted them this, though two of my nephews enjoy diamond painting, so <laughs> um, and they'd probably enjoy doing it themselves. You, it is a 30 by 30, you get 22 colours and they do come with DMC numbers, it is round by the way. Just to confirm the actual sizing is well, it's a pretty good size this one it is 24 and a half nearly 25 by 25 you might get away with one of those ikea frames that are 23 by 23 if you sort of got it right i know ikea do some do some frames that will hold that size so there is potential to get a nice frame for it it does come with a toolkit with baggies and oh all the diamonds come in bags as well, which is one, amazing for kitting up, makes it so much quicker. And second, absolutely amazing for me because I can hold it up and show you all the colours at once. But look at those blues. Blue, grey, cream. Maybe, maybe a little bit of sort of a purplish blue. But primarily it's blues, greys. And then a lighter cream, cream slash white. There is a white in there as well, 3865. But I just thought this was a fun one. Not too big, not too small, just right. So that's number one. Number two, what was this one? Getting it. Ooh. I'm actually still not room. Oh, yes. Now, this does have a blue theme as well. My eyes do get drawn to the blue ones. But this one, oh, this is a little bit different. So, it is very nearly a full drill. And when I say very nearly, the only reason it's not quite a full drill is this edge. So it actually has the diamonds going up to here and then a little bit more for you to be able to trim round. That would be really nice for framing actually. It's down as a 30 by 40. It is, oh, do we have a, a special or is it a glow in the dark? It might be a glow in the dark drill. In fact, I think it is a glow in the dark drill on this one. Um, we have 24 different colours. It is a glow in the dark, I'm sure it is. I'll pull out the diamonds in a minute. We do get a toolkit with baggies. Let's have a look at the size. So if we go right to the edge, it is 26 by 36. If we go for the actual diamond painting area, it's just a centimetre shorter. 
so it's 25 by 35 and then as I say you have the centimetre border these are glow-in-the-dark drills so if you can see we've got letters and numbers for the symbols so nice and clear one through to eight and then some of the letters missing out the likes of B that can be confused with eight it's missing out E that can look like a three if you turn your diamond painting upside down and it does have one that is just a blank circle and that is here for the whiskers and it's also there for the eyes so you can have eyes and whiskers that glow in the dark they pop already because they've not got a symbol on them let me get in it we have some really nice colours in this one as well so we've got some purples browns we do have a bit of black There's some really nice purples and beige as well as of course blue lots of different shades of blue a little bit of yellow gray a little bit of a nice turquoise oh um, and then we have um peach brown blue and then these the reason they actually don't have a symbol is they're like frosted clear let me check if they are glow in the dark so bear with me lights are going off oh mm. they glow a little bit but not a lot so they're not full-on glow in the dark but they are actually clear. I've not seen those before. And that's why it doesn't have a symbol underneath because you'd be able to see it through the diamond. But they don't seem to be glow in the dark. I'm gonna turn my lights off again just in case they needed a bit more charge because they've been wrapped up. No. No, they're not glowing in the dark. Oh, sorry, light went back on. <laughs> Um, no, they're not glow in the dark, but they are clear, sort of like a frosted pebble, um, but they are ever so slightly see-through. So still interesting nonetheless. You could always trade them out for glow in the dark if you like to use glow in the dark diamonds. You can always trade out diamonds on paintings for A, B or for glow in the dark if that's your preference try and stop making noise as I shove the diamonds away try and put them away where, where I can because otherwise I end up with diamonds all over the desk but I still like it I like the picture that's why I got it I didn't think it was glow in the dark but then I did but then I didn't and last but not least, it would look nice with glow in the dark diamonds, but I'd be very interested to see how the frosted ones look, to be honest. I say last, but by no means least, I have a little bit of string. Looks like it's in a chain. Don't know what that's from. Is Lily's or Lily pad and Lily flower. I just thought this one was fun I like I just I just get the ones that catch my eye so this is a 30 by 40 it is round again it has 23 colors so a nice amount of colors size wise has a little bit of a bigger border so this is 24 by 34 let me just lift up this paper to try and get it to go flat it is a poured glue so you could just put the painting itself under something a little bit heavier and it will go flat on its own but for the purposes of you being able to see it on the video I'm trying to work out if that's just that's just a reflection of a lily i thought it was a koi fish then or something but it's not um, you don't get bags in this toolkit, but you do get a toolkit. You never get enough bags for every single diamond anyway. Every single one you may have spare. 
but we've got quite a few more funky colours in this one. So we've got some nice bright reddy pinks, purples, of course some greens. Not as much blue, there's still a little bit of blue but not as much. So a nice green, bright orange, pinks, that's a bluey grey, I do like that red. Um, then we've got some more greens and beige, purples, more greys and blues and some more pink and some deep purple as well. I will fight with those diamonds in a minute. Um, so I will pop links to all of these down below, of course, but we have lovely lilies. I think that would look nice in pretty much any room um, as decor. We've got, is it a tiger, a leopard, tiger, I think, um, that comes with some frosted drills for a nice little bit of a change, or you could change them out for glow in the dark. And we have a football. Um, so I will pop links to them all down below. But thank you so much um, to up to DIY for sending me these items to share with you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.